my name is Lori Craner, and I'm the director of the Scilab Security and Privacy Institute at Carnegie Mellon University. I do research in what I call usable privacy and security. So I look at things like how can we make passwords both more secure but still usable for people. Asking people to have digits and symbols and capital letters is not really very usable, so what can we do that's better? I also look at privacy policies. No one wants to read them, they're too long. Can we make them more like nutrition labels? We did some mock-ups of what it would look like if you were buying an IoT device in a store and you'd have these labels on the device and you could see, oh, this one has a visual sensor, a camera, and a microphone, and we can see what kinds of data they're collecting and what they're going to do with it. We've had this vision for over two decades at this point that it would be much better if your computer could read privacy policies for you and do things automatically to protect your privacy. I'd love to be able to set up my web browser, my smartphone, my smartwatch with my preferences. This is the type of information I'm willing to give out and this is the type I'm not. Once we set it up, it would be great if we could then go through the world and have our devices just negotiate with websites, with IoT devices in our environment and take care of all of that automatically for us. We need ways of propagating secure systems rather than insecure systems at scale. What I've always loved about CMU is just how collaborative and interdisciplinary it is. I have appointments in multiple departments. I collaborate with people in multiple departments and colleges. I even co-advise students across college boundaries. And CMU is a place where all of that just happens naturally. A lot of my students are in the software and societal systems department or in the engineering and public policy department. And these are fundamentally interdisciplinary departments. And so I think the students who thrive there are very smart and have technical skills, but also have social science, policy, other types of interdisciplinary skills. And they're also students who really want to make a difference in the world. There are a lot of potential futures where technology could be used very badly, but I am hopeful that with the smart people that we have working on trying to do better and trying to think through how to use technology for good, that we will be able to have a future where technology is used for good. Usable and practical security and privacy is what's next in computer science.